Oh, I'll be completely honest with you. I don't want to talk about this. I really don't. It is quite literally the most boring subject that we can honestly talk about within Genshin space as a whole. I'd rather talk about the fine bitches of Genshin, but we can't necessarily do that because internet. But when it comes down to it though, we have to bring it up because literally everyone is talking about it. So I don't necessarily have a choice. And as someone that does actively play this game and love to share this game with very little complaints I can have about it, to be very real with you, I don't really have a choice. So let's actually get into it, right? Let me just go off rip and just say this. The way people are talking about the whole Natland character design situation, mainly to do with the skin tone color of each character, is by far garbage and absolutely stupid. Not gonna necessarily lie. It is their game at the end of the day. Hoyaverse can do whatever the hell they want to. I am not necessarily for the people for this one. In fact, I can understand why Uncle Ruckus got so damn mad over black people a lot of the damn time. Because they pull shit like this and it makes sense. So when it comes down to it though, I'm not gonna necessarily hold you. I don't have a problem with their with their, you know, color choices, right? I don't. One, again, it's their game. And then two, I don't mind the light skin caramel ass looking fish bitch in like wait desert rat chick beside her I I don't really care too much it's like it looks fine right it's it's fine for what it is sure you could easily say that well since they're basing it off of South Africa or like African culture or you know South American culture in Aztec culture or whatever they should have darker type characters here's the fat ass thing that you have to understand this isn't Assassin's Creed where shit is basically historically accurate to each region right it's not this is the type of shit that is inspired by it but doesn't have to follow it to the highest effing degree right sure you could easily sit here and say that we wish we had more dark skinned characters and sure I wouldn't mind a few more but at the very same time is that going to happen not necessarily and to be real with you if it's going to be put in the game for quite literally a whole ass reason of representation then you lost the plot to be very real with you do you not understand why you know things like suicide squad kill the justice league and other things that has dei and esg initiative in it die so quickly it's because of shit like this it's because people want to put in shit like this it at the end of the day would just quite literally killed the hell out of the game and then the same woke conversations that we have would be in for Genshin it will be basically for the topic of Genshin if they were to put it into that game in this sort of way it would be absolutely jarring it would be shitty and it definitely wouldn't help Genshin in the slightest it's definitely gonna lose the hell out of some players so hopefully they don't change their decision I don't think they will change the decision when it comes down to it and on a personal note i just don't really care if you tuck in a white albino ass looking person or just the darkest of darkest people honestly if you were to put it into your realm of fiction because for a lot of intents and purposes when it comes down to fiction and making stories and putting in characters let's just be real if you're putting in a character for representation purposes and you're just doing it solely for that purpose it's going to be considered woke it's going to be considered like some type of esg dei type of thing and most likely nine times out of ten nowadays people ain't gonna buy for that shit but if you just put it in for the sake of putting the character in most likely they'll do well like who like it's just like with stella blade to have a better example with a lot of games having ugly ass female characters in it it's refreshing to see a game that actually went out their way to make someone cute and sexy and just go as hand as they really wanted to with getting a lot of praise honestly so that's good even though it got a lot of, like backlash and stuff like that still it's good to see that somebody is actually doing something that's not effing shit like let's keep it stacked honestly so when it comes down to it yeah you could make a you know game with ugly ass characters in it but then will it sell well not necessarily plus you got to realize this game is still made in china so let's keep it a stack do i really think that they're gonna listen to you know domesticated ass people in america much less the whole you know what, what is it it's not com it, that, it's not communism i can't think of the word right now what, that we have democracy yeah and they're gonna listen to like democracy over here Probably not, or whatever the hell the word is, I can't think of right now. But when it comes down to it though, they're not gonna listen to us. They're not. They're gonna listen to their Asian players, their Eastern players, really. 
right? They're gonna listen to the Chinese player base, they're probably gonna listen to the Japanese player base with if they have to, right? So when it comes down to it, it's not necessarily going to be something on America side that they're gonna really focus on. So that's just how it is. Mainly, they're doing the one thing that Japan has lost themselves to not do anymore, which is make a game for them and them specifically, and then if you wanna just jump in and get aboard of the game, then that's how it is, literally. That's how anime and stuff used to be. Literally made it for Japanese people in mind, and then if the overseas crowd wanna get into it, then they can get into it, and that's perfectly fine. But we don't have that shit anymore. We don't have that shit anymore in Japan, honestly. That's why we have Korea and China now being the last bastions of fiction in a way. But you know what the craziest part about all this shit is? Is that you have everybody in the fan base basically trying to, you know, talk about how Mihoyo is racist as hell, even getting the voice actors at the game to come through and talk mad shit. But at the very same time, you gotta realize this same fan base and some of the same people that work on that game on the VA side, much less hell, let's even go as far as say English translators, are the same people that do racist shit themselves. Like, let's keep it very much a stack. Like, let's, let, let's not act like Genshin players have never done anything racist themselves, right? They want to call the game that they're playing racist, yet they've done the same shit themselves, but then we don't want to bring that shit up ever again, right? And it's so damn weird, essentially. And then the whole boycotting thing, how are you going to boycott a game that the moment a fine-ass female character comes through, you're going to be easily, you know, flipping the script, going ahead and trying to pull for said character, and when it comes down to it, just be on some effing nonsense. It is what it is when it comes down to it. It's literally what Cody Rhodes said yesterday, I think when he had that interview. Essentially, you can't just go by what the internet says, because a lot of times it's not going to correlate to what's going on in the arena or what's going on during a certain match essentially the reason why someone like john cena never went turned to a bad guy in wrestling is mainly because he never really had to we booed him back then because he was always winning matches and shit and always being the poster boy so when it comes down to it we already turned him heel on our minds so he didn't have to change anything and that's the reason why basically point is you don't have to necessarily you know try to listen to the online people all the time because online people can definitely be fickle as shit and they definitely can just say one thing when in reality you should have done a whole nother thing and when you look at the genshin side of the you know fan base when you look at like how people have done racist things like they took actual artworks of other players and just essentially just make the characters darker and shit and look ugly as hell and no one if realistically if they were in the game no one would want to play with that character or essentially give a shit about that character at all then you got other people in the community that is racist other people by bullying the shit out of them just because they play a certain character or just bully the shit out of a damn va because hell because of their damn color underneath the damn character that they play or the character that they play just in general so you can't necessarily just sit here and tell me that oh genshin's fan base is just full of justice and wonderland when it's absolutely not the damn case you want to call out all this nonsense racism stuff but at the end of the day you still participate in the game that you play and this is why they shouldn't invite these gorilla grape juice slurpers to events like these now hold on conquer i ain't mean it like that now you're kind of taking it a little too far my boy well, you're the type of person i hate the most someone with white potential but they choose to waste it defending these chicken munchers but my point is is this i don't really think genshin and Hoyoverse, just in general are racist to be very real i don't really care if they even you know decided to never bring another dark skin dark tone character ever again to be real with you it is their game properties they can do whatever the hell they want to and it realistically does not matter but again this is just one voice out of millions of players that is actively maybe playing this damn game well i wouldn't even say that many players honestly it's probably like you know a couple of million but it's probably not that many to be real with you because the majority of people are probably not going to be online like that the majority of people are probably just going to be playing the game casually and not really give a damn about how genshin does things to be absolutely real because when that land comes out guess what people are going to be playing the shit out of it and it's probably still going to be just in high numbers as it always has been because let's keep it a stack is your actions and how you feel going to change their mind about things hell no they're basically going to be like 
Shut up, bitch! And pull for the fish, bitch. But that's essentially all I have to say for this one. Again, this whole thing is just effing stupid and it doesn't make any type of sense. So, just gonna throw this shit out there and, you know, kind of just be on the side of the people that actually have a brain and not necessarily gonna complain about everything because, of course, America is the least racist country in the damn world. But anyway, that's essentially all I gotta say for this one. So, hopefully, you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, hit the bell notification on your routes. Also, follow me on socials and your license on this channel. Ko fi and Cash App is available as well. And until then, it's Wojay. Sign off. Have a blessed day.